Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Utwani from learn-automation.com. Guys, in this lecture, we are mainly going to talk about this keyword in Java. So this keyword is going to be very useful when you start creating your own framework. And if you see the different documentation of Selenium or any other library, we heavily use this keyword. Okay, so this keyword is very important when it comes to references. Okay, so we'll talk about this keyword in detail. And if you stick to the end of this video, I will open the Java libraries and Selenium libraries and I will show you how internal this keyword is getting used. So if you see the first statement of Selenium itself, they use this keyword for calling the constructor. Okay, so very important topic and very interesting. So let's talk about what exactly is this keyword. So this is one of the reserved keyword in Java. We will also call this keyword as a reference variable that actually will refer to the current class object. Okay, so this keyword can be used with the variables and the constructors. So the main objective is when you use with variables, we will be referring to the current class references. But when you use with constructor, we will be calling this to call the different constructors of the same class. Okay, so I will be showing you uh, examples one by one. But let's have a quick um, high level points. When you use of variables, we will use this keyword to refer the current class instance variable. And when you deal with constructor, we will be using this followed by parenthesis to invoke the current class constructor. So in order to showcase, I will create a separate package. This package, I will name this as this keyword demo. So first of all, in order to understand this example, you should have a fair idea about the constructor. So if you don't know about the constructor part and if you completely new, then this examples will not be the perfect fit for you. So I would recommend you to watch my previous videos where we discussed about the constructor, constructor overloading, why constructor overloading is required, why constructor is required. And the last point in case you are interested in super keyword, that is also one of the reference variable. You have to watch the super keyword video as well because both the reference variable are very important one is super and second is this so for super keyword we already have a very video which i will link in the description so let's have a class called my drivers okay so this class uh, i will take public static void main and uh, in this class let me create one constructor so as we know constructor does not have any written type not even void so I will just create one constructor which is zero argument constructor and here I will just give us a sysout call loading my drivers some dummy text it can be anything just focus on the concept as of now but once we have the real time scenarios I will use the same this keyword at multiple places but for the time being to understand this example I will create one more constructor this constructor will have one argument okay and the same argument I will be using here I will say loading my driver name is let's say whatever name we will get if I create one more constructor this constructor has integer as argument and I will say count And I will say total count is count. So as you can see, we have three constructor. One is default, which is zero argument constructor. Another constructor with name. Third constructor with integer count. Now let me create object of this class, okay? And let's quickly also have one uh, method so that we will be having complete program. And I will say display. As of now, I will just say I'm the display method. Okay, so the moment I create object of this class, which is nothing but my drivers, you will see what, like how it will behave. So I'm just creating object of my drivers. I will say obj1 equal to my drivers. While creating object itself, guys, you can see it is giving me three options. Do you want to invoke the default constructor or a zero argument constructor, one with integer, one with string? Let me call this as 
zero argument. So when you run this, it says loading my drivers. As expected, it is calling this constructor. Now what if I want to call this constructor? So definitely in order to call this constructor, I need to pass a string, uh, nothing but a parameter, right? String as a parameter. So here I will say JDBC, Java Database Connectivity. So in this case, obviously it will call second constructor where it is accepting name as a string. Perfect. Last example, if I pass one or let's say 10, this constructor will get called and it will say the count is 10. So this concept is also known as constructor overloading, right? And now if I want to call all the constructor, so I can do in this manner, right? Uh, first will be with zero. Second will be with, uh, let's say JDBC. Third will be 10. So in this case, this will call this constructor. Second statement will call this constructor. And third one will call this constructor. Perfect. But now the requirement says I don't want to create multiple object, but still I want to call all the constructor, how it is possible. So in order to do this, we will be using uh, this keyword now. For example, I want to use or I just want to create one object with zero argument here. So it will call this constructor, right? Now I want to call this constructor. So I can use this keyword. And in the parenthesis, if I pass a string argument, let's say JDBC. So automatically, this constructor will get called first because this is the first statement, right? So before executing this statement, we are calling one constructor with string arguments. Automatically, code will come here to execute this statement. So let's run this. Awesome. It says this constructor first, which is this, then it is calling this one. Perfect. Now, if I want to call this constructor from this constructor, is it possible? Yes. So again, I will say string, sorry, uh, this with integer argument. So now if you see the chaining, this will call this constructor. This constructor is calling a uh, constructor with string. Again, we are calling one more constructor, which will call this constructor. And once everything is executed, it will call this statement and finally your program will end. Now, if you, uh, this is just a final part. Once you are done, I just want to call this display method. It says M display method. So I hope you understood the usage of this keyword with constructors. So in simple words, when you have to call the constructors or multiple constructors within the same class, you will be using this keyword. Okay, now let's use the different example or uh, before jumping into different example, let me show you a real time scenario in case if you're learning Selenium and in case uh, you have to explain the same thing in interviews that where do you, where do we use this keyword with constructor. So your answer should be the first line of Selenium itself has this kind, has this concept. Okay. So if I open this Chrome driver documentation, you will see the moment we are calling default constructor of Chrome driver, it is again internally calling one more constructor with two argument. One argument is with Chrome driver service, another argument which is Chrome options. So if you come here, you will find one constructor with this. And now if you see, this is again calling one more constructor using this. So you will see this is internally all these uh, constructor are calling each other with the help of this keyword. Just open the documentation and see. Right. So that is the power that is the usage of this keyword when you deal with constructor you call one constructor and within that constructor you can call multiple constructors you don't need to create multiple object so guys if you want to read this documentation uh, just click on 
Just create a reference web driver driver could new chrome driver press uh, control from the keyboard if you're working with windows if you're working with mac press command and put mouse over open declaration point and you will see okay and if you click here it will redirect here and if you click here again it will redirect to the different constructor where they are calling i hope you got a clear picture how it works now i will remove this for the time being and now let me show you the same thing with variables so i will create another class and this time i will say my variables so i will remove everything uh, i don't want to keep anything right now and let me remove this as well so let's take two variables first variable is x second variable is y so let's take uh, one constructor so i will say public same name as class name and this constructor will accept two argument okay so let's say this argument uh, this constructor accept x argument and y argument so when i create object okay so let's say if i create object of this class my variable obj equal to new my variable and if i pass 10 50 here so this 10 and 50 will get stored into this x and y right so if i say this x equal to x you can see now java is getting confused what is x equal to x same thing if i say y equal to y now java is again getting confused what do you mean by y equal to y so we'll come back to this point let's create one method and this method i will say public void sum and here we will be taking one sum variables where we will do x plus y and i will simply print the result and this obj1 or this sum method i will be calling from this particular object so within the main method i created one object i'm passing two variables these variables uh, these parameters are nothing but some data this data is getting accepted we are doing the so basic calculation and we are printing it right now if you put mouse over java says the assignment variable x has no effect okay so now you can see we have multiple options qualify the left hand side when you say uh, when you select the first option automatically java is adding at this keyword same thing when you do with y now this is giving you again one option qualify the right hand side so in this case it is adding y equal to this dot y okay so what exactly we are doing here we are telling that whatever variable which we are getting okay from the constructor assign this x into this variable so this always refers to the current class reference variable same thing when i say y y is what is y is a local variable but this y is a global variable so when we assign local variable with a global variable again i will say this dot y equal to y and you can see the colors also when you say global variables they are in different color blue right so when you assign same variable name to a global variable we will always say this local variable has to be assigned to this global variable and this y which is again a local variable has to be assigned to this global variable clear now if i take one more constructor okay but let me run this first of all you can see 60 so now the question should come into your mind that what if i don't want to use this keyword i am fine with x equal to x y equal to y then what will be the behavior that is one of the interview question and trickiest question as well as well so let's remove this this keyword okay and let's remove this as well it should be y equal to y now you also can guess what should be the answer again guys these are just local variables okay they are not making any impact on these variables they are x equal to x y equal to y 
and local variable have the higher preferences so these variables are independent they're not getting affected with this so when you say x plus y they're not assuming this x and y they're still pointing to x and y which is this clear so when you run this code you will see their global variable by default they have the default values which is 0 0 so when you say 0 plus 0 result will be 0 and you will get output as 0 okay so it is mandatory to call this when you have to assign this value to the global variable. I hope it is clear now, right? So we have seen how to use this keyword with variables, this with constructor, both are important, both are uh, heavily used in the software development. And when you start working with your framework as well, you have to use this. Okay, so uh, I guess I can cover one more point. Uh, what if I don't use the same name? For example, if I say this as x, this as y. Okay, and let's say this is a and this is b. So when I say a, when I say b, is this fine? So if you run this code now, this is fine. Because now you don't have ambiguity, you don't have you know any conflict you are directly saying that I want to assign a equal to a uh, on the x and I want to assign value of b into y so there's no ambiguity it will work fine but when you have the same variables okay you have to use this keyword I hope this is clear now if yes then hit the like button share with your friends subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video have a nice day bye bye